Now let's move towards and let's talk about the intrinsic muscle of the larynx. So first I have to uh, kind of remove the muscular structure. All right, we are done with the muscles and let me put the intrinsic muscle of your larynx. So this is it. Very simple. We have kept the intrinsic muscle of intrinsic muscles of your larynx. So you can see this is the larynx and there are muscles inside it kind of surrounding it. It's very easy. So the intrinsic laryngeal muscle acts on the individual components of the larynx. They control the shape of the rima glottis which you have seen in earlier picture which is the opening between your vocal folds and the arytenoid cartilage and the length and tension of the folds. So remember all the intrinsic muscle of the larynx except the cricothyroid are in we will be talking about the cricothyroid in just a bit are innervated by inferior laryngeal nerve the terminal branch of the recurrent laryngeal nerve itself a branch of the vagus nerve so the cricothyroid which was not inward innervated by the inferior laryngeal nerve is innervated only by the external branch of the superior laryngeal nerve again which is derived from the vagus nerve so vagus nerve is kind of the main supplier of your supply to the intrinsic muscle first we'll be talking about the cricothyroid muscle so cricothyroid muscle so if if let me first remove the whole larynx, whole larynx, so you can I can show you the muscle. So these are, are the, all the muscles, right? So cricothyroid muscles. We are going to talk about them. Let me let me talk about straight about the cricothyroid. This is the lateral one. This is the posterior one, and this is the transverse. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is it. Wait a minute. This is pressure. So, cricothyroid muscle stretches and tenses your vocal ligaments. So, uh, and so it's important for the creation of forceful speech. It also has a role in altering your what I call the tone of voice along with the thyroid muscle. Hence, its colloquial name, the singer's muscle. So, remember, anybody is asking you what is the singer's muscle or when you are speaking forcefully which muscle is involved you can you are going to say it's the cricothyroid muscle so which is your cricothyroid muscle so this big structure is your cricothyroid muscle together you can call them the cricothyroid muscle if you talk about the uh it's, this is a straight part of the cricothyroid muscle and this is the oblique part of the cricothyroid muscle together you can call them uh, cricothyroid muscle they are attachments if I add up now if I add up uh, the larynx let me add up the larynx so we can make it clear you can see them now this is your cricothyroid muscle right down there on the sides these both are involved so originate from the anterior lateral this is anterior and lateral aspect of of your cricoid cartilage and coming from cricoid cartilage and attaching themselves to the inferior margin of an inferior horn of your thyroid cartilage. Very simple. Cricothyroid coming from cricoid cartilage and attaching to the thyroid cartilage. Their action is to stretch and tense the vocal ligaments. They are narrated, we just talked about that, external laryngeal nerve, which is a branch of superior laryngeal nerve. Now let's talk about the thyroarytenoid ligament. That is the thyroarytenoid. The thyro, uh, talk about the thyroarytenoid muscle. So the thyroarytenoid muscle, you can see that muscle just, let me, I have to remove the larynx in order to show you the thyroarytenoid muscle. So this is your thyroarytenoid muscle. You can see it down here. It uh, acts to relax the vocal ligaments, allowing for a softer voice. So it attaches from the inferior, inferior posterior aspect of the angle of the thyroid cartilage and attached to the anterior lateral part of the uh, arytenoid cartilage. Action is simply that relaxes the vocal cord. Its innervation is inferior laryngeal nerve. Very simple. Now let's talk about the posterior cricoarytenoid muscle. So it's posterior crico
Oh, yes, it was like. So this is posterior cricoid at arytenoid cartilage. So was are the sole abductors of the vocal cord. This is usually asked in your VAVA exams, which is the abductors of vocal cords, and these are the only solo abductors of the vocal cords, and thus only muscle capable of widening the rima glottidis. Their attachment origin from the posterior surface of your what I call the uh, cricoid cartilage. First, let me add up the cricoid cartilage. So you can see posterior to the cricoid. Let me remove the other structure so you can view it very easily and have a good view of it. So I had it. So you can see it now. From the posterior surface, they originate from the from the posterior aspect of the cricoid cartilage and attach to the muscular process of what I call the arytenoid cartilage. The action is abducts vocal cord and innervation simple for all that is inferior laryngeal nerve. Now let's talk about the lateral lateral crico. Let me remove the respiratory again. Now talk about the lateral crico arytenoid. Okay, okay, okay. We got it. We got it. All right. First, simply I'm just out of the diagram. So the lateral arytno lateral crico arytenoid cartilage. Muscle are the major abduct adductors of your vocal cord. This narrows the rima glottis, modulating the tone and volume of speech. Right. So if I show you in this diagram, you can see it from just inside. This is your vocalis muscle, and uh, right. So. The lateral critical arytenoid muscles are the major vectors of the vocal folds. This narrows hemoglobin, modulating your volume in speech. Their attachment from the arc of the cricoid cartilage and attaches to the muscular process of the cartilage. Again, same. Its action is adduction of the vocal folds and inner innervation is simply same as in an inferior laryngeal nerve. Now, talk about the transverse and uh, oblique. Uh, what I oblique as nice. So you can see it from posterior side. This is uh, your uh, This is the oblique part of your arytenoid and this is oblique part of arytenoid and this is your transverse part of the arytenoid. You can view it posteriorly. So the transverse and oblique part of your arytenoid muscle adducts the arytenoid cartilage closing the posterior portion of the rima glottidis. That was the opening of vocal cords and this narrows the laryngeal inlet. Its attachment spans from one arytenoid cartilage to the opposite arytenoid. Very simple. Action again, adduction of the arytenoid cartilage. Innervation is simply as the inferior laryngeal nerve, which was the branch of a recurrent laryngeal nerve. So this is it regarding the uh, muscles of your uh, diddy diddy all F larynx. Or oh, if you think you need any other lecture on any other topic, uh, please make sure to leave us a comment and keep visiting Thai Schooling and keep visiting the website that is www.thaischooling.com. And see you soon. Keep visiting. Bye bye.